Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be my October empties. I have a fairly full wee bag, I think, so I'm just gonna get started. The first thing I've pulled out is this Smooth Care Shave Gel. This is just the Boots Own Shave Gel. Quite like this one, it's for dry skin. It works pretty well. I have two Redox shower gels. The first is the Revive, which is a mandarin and lemongrass. And then the next one is the Uplifting Pink Grapefruit and Basil. Enjoyed both of these. They're quite nice in the mornings, nice and fresh. I preferred the Revive one over the Uplifting. This was a wee bit too much. But yeah, they work fine, they're a shower gel. Now I have a moisturiser from Liz Earl. It's the Skin Repair Light Moisturiser for Combination Oily Skin. I dug this out again to finish it up. I used it in the mornings, it's nice and light. I'm not a big massive fan of this. Um, it's a wee bit too light for my skin. I get sort of, my nose gets a wee bit dry and stuff and I needed something a wee bit heavier, but this is fine, I used it up. I have another moisturiser. It is the Bare Minerals Purely Nourishing Moisturiser and it's for combination skin again. I quite like this, I quite like the, the scent of it. It's quite fresh. It's not too heavy on my skin again, and yeah, I got on quite well with this one. Now I have a candle. These are the chocolate and vanilla candles from Glade, I think. I really, really like this. I have another one burning at the minute. Um, would recommend checking this out. I'm not going to show you, it's a wee bit dusty, but I got these on offer. There were two for £6 or something, so that's that. Now I have a Tresemme Heat Defence Hair Styling Spray. I really, really like this. It didn't weigh my hair down. It did seem to protect my hair from, you know, getting blow dried or whatever else. And I'm not sure if it was the best styling spray. I only ever sort of turn my hair in because it's quite straight. I don't do very much with it. But I did like this. Didn't weigh my hair down. I prefer to the one I'm using at the minute. So I may go back and get this at some point. Oh, I forgot to say about repurchase. I've already repurchased my shaving gel. I'm using that. I may repurchase these again if they're on offer. I'm not sure if I'd run out to repurchase the moisturizers. I have quite a few I'm using up still from all over the place and I've already repurchased this. So now we're all up to date. I have the Soap and Glory Hand Food. It's just their hand cream and this is a wee travel size. I quite like this. I don't know if... I think I went off it a bit towards the end. The scent is okay. It is a wee bit heavy of itself I find during the day so it's quite nice to use in the evenings. Um, it did help with my dry skin and everything else, but I think I prefer the Nivea hand creams maybe. But yeah, that's from Super Soap and Glory. I have an empty cotton wool oval pad packet from Superdrug, which is super exciting. Now I have another hand cream. It's Mavala. I'm not sure how you see it. It's just their hand cream. I got this as a free gift with purchase when I bought some clothes from Very, I believe. I quite enjoyed it. It was nice to use at night time. It's quite heavy of itself. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not sure if I'd rush out to buy it again. I don't know. It depends how much it was. But this was a nice sort of size sample. It was 30ml, so quite like that. We finished up the Nivea Daily Essentials Moisturiser. And this has got SPF 15 in it. I used maybe the first half of this and then I was using some other moisturizers and my other half ended up finishing it off. He quite liked it, I quite like it. It is a nice light day cream as it says. Yeah, it's fine. I have a conditioner. It's the Pantene Fine Hair Ice Shine Conditioner. This was quite a nice conditioner. It wasn't too heavy. It did work well for my hair for quite a while, but then you know yourself, you're using the same shampoo and conditioner for a while, you know, it stops being quite as effective. This was fine. I don't tend to buy the same shampoo and conditioners over and over again. I might get it again if it's on offer. I'm not too sure. I'm fine for now. I finally used up the Bure Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. I'm not the biggest fan of these. I didn't notice a massive difference in my blackheads on my nose. I much prefer just using a face mask. A good deep cleansing face mask does tend to get rid of most of the gunk out of my nose anyway. So yeah, these were fine. It was quite satisfying ripping them off when they dried, but I'm not sure if I'd rush out to repurchase at the minute. I have an empty cotton pads. Uh, these were 120. And I actually got these from Lidl, I think. I would recommend checking them out. They're about 70p for 120. I use them for taking off my eye makeup and they do a fine job. So I would recommend checking these out. I got two packets for like 140 or something like that. So they mustn't be very expensive. So yeah, they're the cotton pads from Lidl, I believe. And they're the Beauty Isri, something like that. 
Now I have this sample from L'Oreal. It's the new Everish shampoo and this is their new sulfate free shampoo and I tested this out before I bought the ones that I have which you would have seen in a haul at some point. This is okay, it was fine. It obviously convinced me enough to go and buy the full size shampoo and conditioner so I quite like this. I would recommend checking out quite a few different shampoos and conditioners depending on your hair type which I think is good. I have the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Shine Deep Treatment. Uh, for dull tired hair begging to shine. I really like the Aussie 3 Minute Miracles. They have a few different ones. I really enjoyed it. This was a sample I probably got with a magazine or something. So yes, use this up. Really loved it, as always. I've used up a Dove Shea Butter Soap Bar. These were okay. They tend to break down a bit too quickly for my liking, but it was fine. It smells nice. It was nice on my skin. It wasn't too harsh or anything else, so that's always a good thing. I have two makeup products I've finished. The first is my Bare Minerals Matte Foundation in Fair. I use this quite a lot, as you would have seen in sort of my makeup of the days on Instagram or anything else like that. And this I'm getting rid of or giving to my niece or something like this. It's a small palette. It's the Rocker palette from e.l.f. and it's from their basics kit. I wasn't overly fussed on this. It's quite cute. My niece might like it. She's quite small. It gives her something to play with or put on her dolls or anything else. So that is it for my October empties. If you're interested in what's in my face, I have mentioned that in my October favourites video, which I will link below. Yeah, that is it. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please like if you like, please subscribe if you like, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!